Hello, my name is Andrzej Roushek. I'm from the Faculty of Transportation Sciences, Czech Technical University in Prague. And now we are in our DIN lab. The DIN lab is for testing of materials and structures under high dynamic loading. What you see behind me is a split Hopkinson pressure bar, which is a device that is striker that is producing deformation of the sample at high strain rates. This is an example of a sample with oxidic core. It means it is 3D printed structure that was well defined in computer for specific to have specific properties. And in this case, the sample, when it is compressed, compressed also in the perpendicular direction, which in effect should have a very specific properties. This is the sample before the penetration test and this is how it looks after the experiment when it is penetrated with the high velocity impacting uh, striker. Help of artificial intelligence for this specific purpose to have the best absorption properties or to have the best stiffness or other properties. Uh, the results of the experiment serves to understand the behavior of the materials under various strain rates or under um, different loading scenarios. It means that uh, from the experiments we understand how the structures behave differently when striked at velocity of 10 meters per second or 100 meters per second. And from the results we are able to uh, develop mathematical models that describe the behavior numerically. The results of our research should lead to uh, better protective devices. Uh, the devices that are able to protect against blast, against uh, high velocity impact scenarios, they should be able to find application in some design of vehicle parts, and definitely in mechanical engineering as, as well as civil engineering. As you can see, 3D printing can find everyday use in our labs, not only to print the samples, but also to adjust with ease our experimental devices. From Prusa, we have uh, two printers, uh, one MK3S Plus printer, and the other one is uh, Prusa Mini. We are using them for prototyping and also for samples production. In all of our research projects, students from bachelor, master and PhD level of uh, education are involved. Uh, they find it uh, interesting and fun at the same moment and uh, they are performing all the experiments that uh, are taking place in our lab.